Do you ever dig up a hole in your yard? Well, me and my brother did that in our own house. Because someone told us that we can dig up a hole and go to China. So both of us took our weapons, all excited and went ahead digging in the yard. We dig, we dig, we dig. <laughs> what do you hit when you're digging in your yard? A pipe. A pipe. And what comes out of a pipe? Water. Water. So we did what any sensible, reasonable children would do. We filled it up with dirt and went around as if nothing happened. Two months later, there was a huge bill and the consequences followed for years to come. Fellow Toastmasters, Honorable Judges and Guests, in our life, we do bump into a lot of pipes of challenges, but then it completely depends on us. What do we fill it up with? Lots of cousins and relatives would come and stay with us in Dubai in my early days. We would have great time including disastrous fights with the cousins. However, there was this one person who stayed with me for a while. I really enjoyed her company and she would be very protective and critical at times. When I was in 8th standard, I wanted to take part in the singing competition. I was preparing myself for the talent show. You are my fire, the one desire. Believe when I believe. Believe. I can't believe what a terrible singer you are, Iram. Spare the horror and drop it, please. She's right. What was I thinking? I do sound like a crow when I hear my recording. I left singing altogether. That dug up a hole in me. I filled it up with insecurities. Moving on in life in college, I had a best friend from childhood and I developed feelings for him. I wanted to share my feelings with him on the end of the party day. Because whenever I would look at him, my eyes would go all fluttery and my tummy would go all butterflies. And while I took up that courage, she came up to me and said, You and him? <laughs> what a tall, dark and handsome fellow he is. Why would he even look at you? You skinny, brown, dark, and you were wearing braces and glasses. You have no chance with him. She was right. He was my childhood friend and doing such a silly thing would spoil my friendship forever. I don't have a chance with this handsome. That dug up a hole in me. I filled it up with inferiorities. Going ahead in life after 28 failed interviews, I landed my first job. Six months later, there was an opportunity for promotion and I was so excited at the age of 19 and a half to go for it. She spoke to me then. You have been putting up a clear drama from last six months. There is no way you can take up this promotion and who the hell is asking you to get so creative? Stick to your seat. She was right. Why would I jump ahead? I should take my own time and why should I jump on my career so fast? I was sad when I heard that. But then I dig up a hole in me. I filled it up with self-doubts. Four years earlier, I went into a Toastmasters meeting and I was called over there for table topics in my very first meetup. And when they called my name and asked me to come, I was excited to stand up, go to the stage and share my story. And just then she said, hey, you're crazy. Nobody wants to know your story. You have nothing in your life to share. Go there, be quiet and leave the room, please. She was right. But then there was something inside me that really wanted to give a shot. I did hear what she said. I walked up to the stage with the pain in my chest of anxiety and my throat was throbbing. 
with such self-doubt. And just then, I saw the smiling faces who wanted to know my story. I saw the sparkling eyes who were shining when I started speaking. And guess what? In the end, they started roaring claps on the nonsense that I just shared. In the end of the meeting, I got the first award of my life of table topic speaker. That dug up a hole in me. I filled it up with self-worth. I wanted to go back home, talk to her, ask her to put a stop to it. Once I reached, I looked at her. She was standing right there. I took a step. She took a step. We went further, eye to eye. I went closer. I held up the mirror and said, enough, enough. Enough. It's absolutely fine to have these feelings and negativity because I'm a human being. We are wired to have these thoughts so that we can survive as human beings. I hugged her. I shared truths with her. And I told her, it's okay, we can be together, but you do not have to be that loud. Fellow Toastmasters and friends, there are many times in life when we are digging and we end up hitting a pipe of challenges. It's up to us, what do we fill it up with? She's right now here with me. And while I was coming up, she said, you can't do it. And I said, watch me. Life is going to dig up holes for you in the ways that you cannot even imagine. Don't dig up yourself. Contest check. <laughs>